Welcome everybody back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Will and you're at WW Mods. Hey, in case any of you guys didn't already know, I purchased a Greenworks electric lawnmower uh, back in the early summer. And I did a video on it and I've had this uh, mower and I've been using it extensively throughout the summer. And I thought now would be a good time to give you my honest review on this particular mower since I have been using it uh, for the last several months. So guys, stay tuned and I'll tell you all about it. All right, everybody, I told you this is gonna be about the Greenworks. Uh, this is the actual CRZ 428. They call this the pro version because it's an 82 or 80 volt uh, system. Uh, I don't know exactly what all that means. I think they make two different types, but uh, this is the, what they call the pro version. I'm not sure exactly I would consider it a pro version, but uh, I don't know. It works, uh, works really well. It's a 82 volt system. I think the other one is a 60 volt system. Uh, comes with uh, six batteries. And these batteries, guys, are very beefy. They, they are very, they've got some weight to them. Very heavy uh, button on the top. You can you can press the button and it'll show you the uh, the amount of charge. And these also have these batteries have Bluetooth enabled. And what that means is an app that uh, you can download from Greenworks, where you can put in your model, and it'll actually keep track of the uh, the battery capacity. Uh, it'll run a diagnostic on the mower to make sure that the mower doesn't have any problems. It also keeps up with the amount of um, yardage you, uh, you mow, uh, that sort of thing. Pretty neat little, little tool. I, I thought it was pretty cool. I use it uh, to keep up with my mowing. Uh, as for the mower itself, uh, it has most of the basic things that the, uh, a gas powered mower would have. Uh, you've got your port here where you can clean your deck uh, it does come with uh, three of these charge units. And if I was going to ding Greenworks, this would be where I would ding them at. Uh, as I say, it comes with three of these chargers. You get six batteries. Uh, I've got uh, two of the batteries in here right now underneath. And the battery compartment is right underneath the seat. And if you raise it up here, you see I've got two batteries already in there. This, the, the unit will run with two batteries. Although it's not designed for that, it's designed for six, but it'll run with two, um, just as efficiently, but just not as long. But the batteries are pretty much self-explanatory. They're only gonna plug in one way. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, you see the vents down there on the bottom? They correspond with the vents, The poles down at the at the base and you just click them in and as I say it comes with six of these I think the uh, competitor ego only comes with four you have to purchase the other two separately uh, and that's one of the biggest reasons I went with uh, the Greenworks not only was it cheaper it actually came with uh, six batteries instead of four. I think the average cost difference between the units is roughly a thousand dollars. And uh, to me, that's quite a bit, especially when you're not getting all six batteries. But the battery compartments here, it's underneath the seat. The seat is very sturdy, very comfortable. It does have an adjustment here for us long-legged people. It adjusts out pretty good. I don't have any problems with it. But uh, back with what I was gonna tell you about the uh, what I would ding Greenworks about is this right here. Uh, it charges the batteries great. No issues there. Batteries will charge up in about an hour. Uh, my biggest problem with it is the fact that if you use a surge protector and you're trying to put the uh, all three chargers on one surge protector and plug it into one outlet, you're gonna have a problem. 
it's going to uh, trip your breaker on your house. Too many amps. Um, you have to split them up. When I go to do uh, my recharging, I have uh, two in the kitchen and one in the uh, den uh, where I plug it up. I think the Ego brand is designed to where if you want to, you can uh, charge all the batteries inside the unit. And that would be my only ding with this particular mower. But it's not a deal breaker because uh, I can take the batteries out for a thousand dollars and um, charge them myself. Uh, this back compartment right here, I've never used it, but I guess you could throw a bag of fertilizer, a bag of mulch, or whatever in there. It's got a 200 pound weight capacity. The mower also does come with this little cool Greenworks bag, and what I use the bag for is uh, I put my batteries in it when I'm taking taking them inside to uh, recharge them. On this side of the mower here, you have a drink holder, phone holder. You have two uh, uh, USB ports for charging your phone, should you wish to do this. Uh, on this side over here, you have high low on the blades and you have your drive speed and then this unit here in the center is your only display it tells you your battery battery percentage on and off blades and this is your uh, you turn it on turn on your headlights which it does have headlights here in the front which they do work they are pretty cool and uh, yeah that's basically it the Ego gives you a much more robust uh, control panel, but I mean, at the end of the day, I don't want to pay the extra money for the uh, for the little bells and whistles when I don't use them. No big deal. Uh, here, this is pretty standard. Uh, this does come with a it, it does come with the cover to where you can uh, close it off to where you don't have the uh, discharge it has a uh, tow hook a maximum of 300 pound weight you can hook a trailer to it it does have these beefy hooks on the side in case you get stuck somewhere and you have to pull it out it also has this receiver on the front and uh, the pin where you can actually uh, tow it if you needed to do so uh, front wheels are pretty much uh, a soft rubber compound and the back wheels, as you can see, pretty standard. Uh, the 42 inch cut here is a, a two mower. I'm sorry, not a two mower, two motor uh, operation. And uh, they seem to do quite well. Uh, I have changed the blade speed to high and low on occasion. I have mowed other different uh, different yards and uh and that times has been pretty thick and wet so i have had to go up into the high mode which for the average user the standard mower speed is going to be just fine and just like with the uh two speeds here uh the i find that the standard speed is plenty fast enough for me mowing a yard uh, you can turn it all the way up and uh, fly across the yard if you want to with no issues, but uh, I, you know, I like to take my time. There's no use rushing. I'm not gonna, I don't have the uh, 200 acres I have to mow with this mower. Uh, the largest uh, yard that I have mowed with this uh, particular unit is two and a half acres. And I mowed uh, that with about 50% battery left when I was finished uh, without any issues. Most of the time when I mow my yard, which is less than an acre, I usually only burn up about 10 to 15% of my battery power. I mean, it's, it's, it's nothing for this mower to mow my yard with ease. And... Uh, I don't think anybody with a you know standard size yard with an acre or less would have any issues and have plenty of battery power left over when they were done mowing. So 
This is the walk around once again, and I've told you my ding, what I didn't like about the battery charger, but it's not a deal breaker for me. And I also told you that the uh, control unit on the Ego is a little bit more robust, but again, it's all just uh, smoke and mirrors. I don't care much for it. Uh, what, what this one provides for me gives me what I want. Uh, and I didn't see any reason to pay an extra thousand dollars for the difference and i will say one thing about uh, the greenworks versus the ego the ego seems to be made more of plastic this one does have some plastic on it but it's just these covers here on the side the rest of the mower is uh metal um and that's one thing that i was impressed about it the ego seems to be made more out of plastic you know this is a plastic hard plastic shell in here but like I say, it's not the, you know, main frame of the motor. And it's not the main frame of the mower. Um, this seems to have a lot more metal involved than with the Ego versions, at least the ones that I've seen so far. So anyway, guys, I'm going to crank her up and we're going to get on the mower and uh, show you how quiet it is. That is the one thing that i have been very impressed with uh it is super quiet for a lawnmower i'm used to all the gas powered rumblings and uh you don't have that with this much much quieter so hopefully you'll be able to tell when i put uh put us on here and uh, get started so guys get up on the mower here and we're gonna get started and like I told you, pretty beefy uh, on the uh, controls as far as the uh, seats go. You see, we got plenty of room. I normally stay about right here. That way my arms can rest on the armrest while I motor along. Now, when you crank it, you take the key and you turn and you hold it. And you'll see the display come on and it'll beep and then you can let it go you see we're at 100% uh, battery and the uh, mower is running and as and I'm not using any external mics this is the mic right straight off of the GoPro so hopefully you can hear me pretty well and if you look at my yard, I haven't mowed it in a couple of days because it's been rather uh, rainy. So I've got trash I've got to pick up. Oh, and uh, one thing I have found about this mower, it's easier to step off the front. Don't step off the sides. Because if you try to step off the sides, you end up uh, trying not to step on the deck and, you know, Sometimes I'm not the most graceful person. All right, and you heard it beep uh, just there because when you get off of it, you can't engage the blades. You get back on it and it will uh, allow you to, to move and ride. So now we're in the grass here. And if you look on my tires, I don't know if you can see it, the grass is pretty wet, All right? Because we had, uh, we've had rain and, and all sorts of things. So the grass is kind of kind of still wet. But, we're going to mow anyway, because it's not that bad, and I don't want to wait till it gets super hot. The sun gets over that tree right there, and I have to, and I'm out here baking. So, we are right now in low drive speed. Uh, I don't have it, if I turn it up to high, you can see the response is much faster. And if you'd like to mow that fast, well, you know, you, you go right at it, but uh, that's not me. And this is my, this is my normal speed right here. This is what I like to mow at, all right? But as you can see, you flip it over here into high, and then you have a, have a race car that, uh, you can fly around in and like I say this mower is very very fast so we're going back into normal speed I'm getting ready to cut the blades on here so uh, take a listen 
Oh, we're gonna put the blades in. We're gonna do off in low first. Here's the blades. All right, now that's uh, that's normal blade right there. I don't know if you can uh, still hear me or not. Hopefully you can. But that's the average blade noise right there. Okay. Now I'm gonna turn it up to high and let you take a listen. All right, this is high. Now, if you can still hear me, I mean, even in high, you can still hear someone if they come up and have a conversation with you. So, you know, it is far less noisy than if you are operating a gas-powered mower. I normally cut my grass at about three and a half inches. So uh, we're gonna see how this works out. So guys, come on, take a ride with me. Pretty comfortable. The seat is pretty comfortable. Uh, One thing that I do notice that when the uh, grass is wet and high like it is with all these what we call grasshopper weeds, there may be a pass or two that you might be able to uh, miss and have to go back over. But of course, if you put it on high, those issues
All right, everybody, I'm not gonna bore you with the entire mowing of my yard. So, if you're still here at the video, there must be a reason, and it's probably this one. Am I happy with my purchase of the Greenworks Pro CRZ 428? Yes, I am very satisfied with this mower, and I think it is more than enough for any homeowner, more than enough. Now, here are the downsides, okay? To owning a uh, gas mower, you've got maintenance, you've got belts, you've got fuel filters, you've got fuel, you got oil. With this particular unit or any electric mower, you don't have any of that, okay? Do these mowers cost more on the front end? Yes, they do. Uh, the price of this mower, I purchased it from uh, John Deere because I used to have a John Deere mower. It was a conventional riding lawn mower. And uh, when I moved, it was just too much mower for this particular yard. I could not maneuver around uh, like I wanted to, so I needed a zero turn for the maneuverability of it. So. Uh, I went with this. Uh, John Deere did partner with Greenworks and uh, you can pick these up at uh, most of your John D. Deere dealers. However, you have to go to a dealer. You can't pick these up at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. At least if you can, I haven't seen them. Um, this unit, like it sits with the six batteries and pretty much all you see here the carrying bag, the three chargers, uh, the six batteries, blah, 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 is going to run you, if you catch it on sale, it's going to run you around $4,200. Sorry about that, guys. My GoPro got too hot. Is, the, um, is it more expensive than a regular zero-turn mower? Yeah, it is. You can pick up some of the cheaper zero-turns for, what, uh, $3,000? Uh, 2900 I think uh, you can get a John Deere for 2900 a 42 inch cut but the trade-off is you don't have to put gas in it you don't have to worry about any belts you don't have to worry about any oil and you don't have to worry about any gasoline so that alone to me is worth the extra money you pay for the mower and if you did a straight up comparison between uh, this mower and a gas mower, I think you would find that this is just as capable as a gas mower and you're going to get a whole lot quieter ride and a whole lot less maintenance when it comes right down to the upkeep of the mower. So with that being said, would I buy this mower again? Yes, I would. Uh, I have not tried out their push mowers, and I do have an Ego electric push mower. And the only reason I have that is because I could not find a Greenworks push mower at the time that I was looking for one. So I had to go with the Ego. And I have no complaints with that. Good mower, no problem. But I can't compare that to the Greenworks because I don't have a Greenworks push mower. So. With all that being said, guys, would I buy this mower again? Yes, I would. Do I recommend it? Yes, I do. I think it does a fantastic job, and I am looking forward to using it many, many more times over the course of mowing the yard. So, guys, I hope you found this video informative. I hope you watched it till the end, and if you did, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, Clang on that notification bell and let you know when I put up any future videos. And like always, we will see you on the next one.